Today I'm taking a look at the Darth Maul Disney Infinity figure. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher and today I'm taking a look at the Darth Maul Disney Infinity figure. So I started collecting these figures, these Disney Infinity figures, uh, about a month ago, maybe a couple months ago now. Um, I picked up this one. I, or, I got this one at an auction here in Edmonton, a local auction here. Um, so I won this one. I think I paid like five bucks for this one, which is a really great deal. Uh, but I also picked up a couple loose figures and then the Kanan that I re did a review on just the other day. Um, so I picked those ones up from the Geeky Craft Market. I think it was that I went to back uh, back in November, it was, I believe. Might have been might have been early or late October I went to that one uh, but either way I picked them up at one of the markets here in Edmonton one of the the nerd sales the craft markets or whatever it was um, but I picked those up there so they're pretty cool like I, I like the scale of these they're they're smaller than the three and three quarter inch figures but they're they have a lot of detail to them so I like that they're not posable I like that they, they're just kind of you know meant to be on display and like I said, the detail on them are very, very, very incredible on some of them. Um, and Darth Maul is my favorite character, so I had to pick up the Darth Maul one. So let's take a look at the packaging, and then we'll open them up. So there is the front of the packaging there with uh, Darth Maul in the bubble there. And then on the back of the card, it says Disney Infinity uh, 3.0 Edition. I never played the uh, this game on the Wii or anything, any of the consoles, because it came on a couple different consoles I believe uh, but you got Darth Maul an image of Darth Maul in the same pose as he is as the figure is in um, so you got a picture of him on the the front of the card there um, and then down below it says Star Wars Darth Maul this one the packaging is in a little bit of uh, rough shape with the some residue left from where they had the price at one point and then on the back you got another image of the figure there uh, an image of Darth Maul. I think that's from the actual video game, how he would appear in the video game, I believe. And then it says, uh, Star Wars Darth Maul, a uh, cunning Sith villain with uh, telekinetic force powers and saber staff. Very cool. And then play now in Toy Box 3.0, bonus unlockable in all Star Wars play sets. And then there's a bunch of other uh, figures that you can collect. So I... At the moment, I have the Kanan, I have the Anakin, and the Ahsoka, and the Darth Maul. So I do intend on getting the rest of these, because they they do look really great. Like, they, they display very, very well. But, without further ado, let's get Darth Maul out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look at him. Oh, well, that came off a little bit too easy. Almost like maybe the glue stopped holding after a little while. Um, yeah. All right, so there we have the Darth Maul Disney Infinity figure. I think he looks pretty awesome. Like I said, a lot of, a lot of nice little details in these little figures here. Some nice little cartoony looking details on his outfit. The pose is great. Like he's got the one hand up, almost like he's gonna use the force and maybe use the force to throw something at his opponent. And then he's got the double bladed lightsaber out to the back there. Not a ton of detail in the actual hilt itself. But that's okay. I think he, he looks very cool. He's meant to look like a, uh, a cartoon character, a video game, or whatnot. So I think he looks pretty cool. Um, he's going to look fantastic on display on my shelf. But like, look at look at that face. He looks menacing. Menacing. Very menacing there. Um, love this guy. Great addition to my collection and another Darth Maul. Like, so I can't really complain about that. But he looks... Very, very cool. I'm definitely going to be picking up some more of these figures in the future, uh, so stay tuned for that. But what are your thoughts on the Darth Maul Disney Infinity figure? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.